Hi, this is Linda Nairn with Flamingos in Wonderland. There are so many unique restaurants in Epcot, like Chef de France, the Annapolis Restaurant de Pizzeria, and Le Cellier to name a few. With all the unique restaurants, there are only two that are character dining. So how do you decide where to eat? Today we're going to take you to Garden Grill to give you a full review so you can decide if this restaurant is one you want to spend your time and money at. All that and more coming right up. The atmosphere was my favorite part about the Garden Grill. It is the best combination of good food and Disney magic. It has a cozy, welcoming atmosphere like you're dining at a country farmhouse. The best part is the restaurant rotates and takes you through views of the Living on the Land attraction. You pass the rainforest, farmhouse, sandstorm, and other scenes. We tried to capture it with this time lapse, which was hard with the glass, but it gives you an idea. If you've never rode on Living on the Land, we highly recommend doing that before your meal. This isn't usually a long wait unless it's peak season. To add to the magic, this is a character dining restaurant. I love how it's set up family style instead of buffet. It's much calmer character dining experience. Chip and Dale and a few other friends come around to your table while you eat. So have your camera or your signature book ready to go. You can find Garden Grill in the Land Pavilion in Epcot. This is the pavilion with Soren and Living on the Land ride. There are lots of ways to get to Epcot depending on where you're coming from. There's the Skyliner, boats, monorail, bus, and you can drive yourself. Just getting to Epcot can be an adventure. I just want to pop in here and say if you're interested in dining reviews of other restaurants in Epcot, Disney, and room tours, be sure to check out our channel when this video is done. We have tons of videos to help you plan your trip. Thanks for your support. Now let's get back to the food. The menu at the Garden Grill is family style and all you care to enjoy with farm to table items. And by farm, I mean ingredients from living on the land attraction. The menu is different for breakfast, but lunch and dinner are the same. If you come for breakfast, you can expect scrambled eggs, Mickey shaped waffles and other classic breakfast items. At lunch and dinner, it includes barbecue roast chicken, grilled beef with chimichurri, vegetables and more. Make sure you save room for dessert as there's a berry shortcake. So we wanted to share some of our favorites with you. Of course, I had to try everything to give a fair description. The menu can change, but this will give you an idea of what to expect. I preferred the barbecue chicken over the grilled beef. The salad and the veg were really nice and fresh, but not the star of the show. I was really surprised with how much I liked the Southern style spoon bread. It's similar to cornbread. It's not dry. It has tons of flavor. Aaron's favorite was the mac and cheese. It was a pretty solid mac and cheese. We definitely asked for more of that. The berry shortcake was really good. This was one of my favorites desserts and it did not disappoint. It's all you care to enjoy. So if there's something that you want, just ask your server, they'll get it for you. The servers were really good to make sure we had everything we wanted and answered all of our questions. In terms of value and price, we found it really good. The cost for breakfast is a little cheaper at $42 for adults and for kids from three to nine years old, it's 27 US dollars. Lunch and dinner costs a bit more at $55 for adults and 36 US dollars for kids. Considering you are in a park at Disney, you get to eat in a rotating restaurant with characters and it's all you care to enjoy, it's a pretty good price. We had this for like a lupper, so it pretty much covered lunch and dinner for us. In terms of the Disney dining plan, that does look like it's coming back next year, which is really exciting. So keep, we'll keep our eyes out for that and keep you posted. We do get asked a lot about dress code. There's no need to bring a change of clothes or go back to your hotel to change. You can wear whatever you're wearing to the park that day. We do recommend having dining reservations as it can book up. You can book on the app or the website 60 days in advance. Also, you do need park tickets and currently they are still doing park reservations, but this will be gone next year. Overall, we really enjoyed our meal at Garden Grill. The food was good. The atmosphere was amazing and we'll definitely be going back. Have you ever dined at Garden Grill? What's your favorite restaurant in Epcot? Let us know in the comments below. We love hearing your ideas and opinions. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch our video. It means a lot to us. As we say, memories are forever, so make them fabulous. Thanks again for watching and happy travels.